Hello everybody and welcome to my new series. Since I haven't been playing that much Hearthstone on stream lately, I thought it would be a good idea to actually make a video series about it. And, well, I just felt like playing my old Priest deck again. It's really old and I haven't been doing much without it lately. So, I'm not even sure how good it will go. <laughs> but, yeah, here you can see my deck. If you're interested, you can take a screenshot. Um, I'm also going to explain a tiny bit about it, what the idea about it is. So I have a good amount of early removal with the double wild pyromancer for AoE removal. Um, I have a organized soul priest and two circles of healing for a really big bot clear combo because this reverts the healing into damage, so you can deal. 4 AoE damage for 0 mana, basically, if you use those two cards together, which is pretty good. Um, I'm really... It, this deck seems pretty damn random still. I've, like, I have one Spellbreaker in it and one Abomination and stuff like that, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, just gonna see how it goes, and then I will adjust my deck accordingly. But yeah, let's, let's just see how it goes. Um... A thing about this deck is, I'm on rank 14 right now by the way, um, a thing about this deck is I have Thought Steals on it and one Mind Control, so I have a pretty good, like, I have an advantage if the game goes really long, because I can get two cards with, the, with one Thought Steal from the enemy deck, like they just get generated out of nowhere, you know? So. Um, I could technically have an advantage when it comes to the fatigue um, area, but most of the time games don't go for that long. But yeah, I don't know, we'll see. So what do we have here? Oh, that's interesting. So I go second, and Twilight Track is pretty good if you go second actually, because you can play it on turn 4 and you have an extra card. And I'm thinking about just keeping this whole hand, I like it. I mean, I don't have early removal, but I have the Pyromancer. I think I'm gonna keep this. Thought Steel is really good, um, and Injured Blade Master is really good if you can heal it up right away. It's a 4 7 for 3 mana then. It also synergizes really well with Circle of Healing, which I don't have right now, unfortunately. But maybe I will top deck it, and then I will just coin into this and use Circle of Healing. Like, there's nothing the Druid will be able to do about this. So, he's on turn 1 and he's not really playing anything. <laughs> this is Rich. That's his name, huh? So, my plan probably is to wait until 4 mana and then play the Twilight Drake, or actually turn 3 and then coin into Twilight Drake. But if you play something before that, I might just play my Pyromancer to deal with it. He's not playing anything. <laughs> Time waits for no one. Time waits for no one. Yeah. Well, that's that's a good start. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Ooh, okay, perfect. So I even have a Shadow Ward Pain in case he plays aggressively early on. I'm just gonna say hi. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm also thinking about playing Arena if you guys like this, like. If you, if you guys enjoy my Hearthstone videos, I'm just gonna upload Hearthstone videos on a, um, not not on a regular basis, but I would just try to upload videos every now and then. I'm trying to focus a lot more on. Ooh, damn! I can't use a spell on this because this is a fairy dragon. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. So I'm gonna play this, and I hope that he doesn't have any removal. And then I can trade directly. Um, but what I wanted to say, I want to focus a bit more on YouTube because I haven't been focusing on YouTube that much ever because I've been busy streaming a lot all the time. But I think it's just better overall to focus a little bit more on YouTube right now. I will still stream as well, but probably a little bit less than in the past for the next few, few weeks days. Also, my other video series, the Telda Daily, I am really happy how this goes. I'm really happy how you guys like it. <clears throat> Ooh, interesting. Ooh, okay. Okay, let me think. I'm not sure how it exactly works, 
but if I kill this guy, I hope that the death rattle triggers before the special ability of this guy. So I could kill this guy, hopefully, and then my thing triggers afterwards when this thing... Yes, perfect! So I'm gonna kill this right away, and then I can trade here. That was really good. So I had a really good trade here. Harvest Golem is very hard to deal with. It's basically still 2 for 2 trade, but it could have been a lot worse. And next turn I can play a Twilight Drake with 7 cards on my hand. And... oh, he also plays one. <clears throat> but a weaker one. <laughs> well... Eat this. Mm. The 4-7 Twilight Drake. Since he's a druid, he could have um, a Keep of the Grove, though. And he could silence it, but he cannot follow it up by a shapeshift because he wouldn't have enough mana for that. So I feel pretty secure, actually. Um, I mean, what else could he have for 5 mana? He could have a Starfall, that's not enough. Like, he can't deal with this Twilight Drake very easily. Yeah, okay, so he decides to play another minion, that's, that's really good. Mm, okay, he's just trying to go for my face. Okay, so what could I do here? I have 5 mana, that's enough for a Holy Nova. So I could attack the Twilight Drake and play a Holy Nova to finish the Twilight Drake off and heal my Twilight Drake back up a little bit. It's not the best value, but I think that's the best thing I could do right now. I could play this and then I would have 2 mana left. But I really want to get rid of one of the creatures, so I'm just gonna do this. That leaves me with a 4-5, which is still relatively hard to deal with. <clears throat> I mean, he could yet, he could use a Starfall or a Starfire now. And then he would still have a 2-1 on the board, but I'm fine with that. My deck is a lot slower anyway, so I think late game I will probably have an advantage. It seems like he's playing more of a mid-range deck. <clears throat> oh, interesting. That's... that's pretty hard to deal with. Hmm. What I could do, but I'm not sure if I should do that. I could hit this guy and ping off the... Actually, I have a Holy Nova. I mean, I have a coin still, and I can hit him with Holy Smite to ping it off. It's not optimal. It's a 2 for 1, but I would keep my Twilight Drake alive this way. Or I would keep it a lot stronger this way. So I think I'm gonna do this. Just gonna do this, and then coin into a holy fire, and I'm gonna go for his face and ignore this. <clears throat> that brings me up in HP again. I still have a thought steal to catch up in cards, but card-wise it's even it's even as well. He has five on his hand, I will have five next turn as well. I have a stronger board and more HP, so it's looking good. I'm happy with how this went so far. But still, he could still have a Starfire or something and just kill this off. But that would not be that big of a deal, most likely. Ooh, that is... Huh. Okay. Interesting that he played it offensively. You can play this defensively and then it would have 10 HP. But how am I going to deal with that? So I have... Huh. I only have one secure way of dealing with it. I could play a Thought Steal and gamble for something, for a swipe, for example. But I think that's just safer if I play the Organized Soul Priest and then attack this guy and heal it to death, because the Soul Priest reverts heals into damage. That still means I have a stronger board. But yeah, that Ancient of War was a bit scary, actually. I didn't like that. <laughs> but I have Ragnaros on my hand, so... Maybe I can do something good with it. Maybe. Fruit of the Claw as a charge? No, okay. Place it as a taunt. A4-6. Hmm. So what I could do here... Huh. I have a Shadow of Death. I think... Hmm. That's... I don't know. I don't want to attack with this guy. I won't be able to get through the taunt no matter what I do. So I think it might be the right call to just play Ragnaros here. 
Or I play a Temple Enforcer. I think that's better, actually. Yeah, Temple Enforcer to buff this guy up and then heal this to death. It will come back as a 2-1, so I didn't get much out of it right now. But the 6-6 can trade with this and survive, most likely, next turn. And this guy's buffed up. I think that's just a stronger board overall. Ragnaros would have been amazing if I would have been lucky and would have killed the bear. But I didn't want to take that risk. <clears throat> what is he going to do? Da -da 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 -da. A sword Drake. Getting a card. He could play something with spell power now. He has enough mana for one swipe. Wouldn't do too much right now though. Hmm. I mean, it would only do 5 damage. Oh, is that a silence? I'm absolutely fine with that, because now I can use my heal again. <clears throat> Even though it would've probably been useful now if I could've dealt damage with my heals. Uh, but I need to be careful, he just wants to rush me down, it seems. Down to 16 HP. Hmm, I think Thought Seal is the right call here. I mean, the other things... Okay, this could be good, but I would rather heal myself this turn as well. Ragnaros would, would, could be good, could be really good. But I think Thought Steal and hope for something good here. A Wrath and a Starfall, huh. Interesting. Is that Wrath going to do anything for me? I mean, Starfall doesn't make much sense. I'm just going to trade the 6-6 for the 4-6, then I'm going to use the Wrath for the 2-1. going to do that right now. We'll get another card out of it. Um, Shadow or Death again, okay. That's good, though. And... I think... No, I'm not gonna heal this... Ah, should I heal this guy up? I think it makes more sense to just play another creature, actually. I'm really low HP. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play another creature. Okay, if I would've healed the 6-2 up... I could have still used the Sword Drake to kill it. Now he can use this guy to kill it, but I'm fine with that. I just hope he doesn't have a Force of Nature and Savage Raw combo. Oh, that's... Oh, fuck! Oh, that spell power swipe. Shit. Okay, the heal would have helped a lot here. Okay, he just cleared the board like this. I wish I could use my Shadow or Death on someone. Oh, and he even plays an Innervate that will give him... Six mana still to play in this turn. This is not looking good right now. Could play... Okay, I'm absolutely fine with that though. Sorry about that sound here. That's my origins in the background. <laughs> I'm just, I just closed it down. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I'm gonna play a Holy Fire on the 4-4. Four four, and then play the Plate Master. That will heal myself up. I will deal with a little bit of his board. And, yeah, I think that's the best thing. Unfortunately, he can get rid of my Plate Master like this, but I want something on the board. This is getting scary because he's also having a card advantage right now. Hmm, but I have Ragnaros still. Crap. I had a Wrath. So he can deal three damage like this and just kill it off. I wish I would have had one more mana, then I could have healed it back up. Starfall just doesn't seem to be good at all here right now. Crap. Fuck, he has so many small minions right now. Holy Nova's not- <gasps> Oh yes! Okay, perfect. Okay, do two damage to all of them with this and then Holy Nova. That clears the board. That was- that was a lucky- that was a lucky draw there. Ooh. Still have two Shadow Ward deaths, but what I don't like about this, I don't know, maybe I will just use one in this deck soon. What I don't like about this card is that it ends up being a dead card in your hand sometimes. Which is really bad, like... I can't play any of those cards really effectively right now. He hasn't played a single minion with more than five attack. With more than four attack, I mean. And I'm dropping way too low, and Ragnaros is not going to help me here. 
Okay, I think I think mind control is the best thing. That's the only way to remove this card right now. And I can charge right away with it. Couldn't heal myself though, because they nerfed mind control to 10 mana instead of 8. Which is a really big hit actually. And I'm dead. Ah, Exactly 6 damage. Too bad. <gasps> oh my god! He didn't do it! He could have killed me! <laughs> okay. Well, this thing is gonna die. Wow, okay. Wow. Ragnaros it is, and heal myself back up. Um, it's wipe range though, it's wipe and shapeshift range, so that sucks. But he's also dead next turn if he doesn't shapeshift. And if Ragnaros hits him again. Huh. Can't believe that he let me live. Come on. He deserves to lose now. Oh yeah. He has to use Starfall on my Ragnaros. Oh my god. It's true it used to be able to use Starfall and all that crap on, on heroes. Wow, he used double Starfall for it. That was so ridiculous. Okay, that Circle of Healing also ends up being a dead card on my hand. Which sucks. That's a, that's the a thing about this deck. It's very... Uh, it, it it depends a lot of on synergy between cards, and sometimes you just don't get the right cards. Like, bad card draw can screw you over more in this deck than other decks. I mean, I have three dead cards on my hand right now. <laughs> he thinks, oh my god, he has a card advantage, but in reality, actually, he has a card advantage right now. But yeah, this Abomination at least... Mmm, yes! Okay. Perfect. So I can use my Shadow or Death now. Ah, thank god. And I got a Yeti. I can heal myself, so it looks like I'm going to win this. <laughs> uh, this is this is beautiful. I'm rank 14 still. I used to be, like, rank 2 or something. But, well, that's quite a while ago, and my deck got nerfed a lot, and I just don't have the right cards. Like, I don't have all the cards to try around all the time and make the decks that I want to have. I wish I had better cards. But, well... Da -da -da. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Looks like I win. Yay! I mean, this deck is definitely not that great, the one I'm playing right now, but it's just fun. I really enjoy Priest, and I want to... I want to work on it a little bit. It's really messy right now. Like, I'm trying to focus on all the things. Um, well... Do this. Bam! And come on. Oh, I wonder if he realizes that he could have killed me. <laughs> oh, and I have a win streak. Yay! Uh, nice. So let's try this again. Um, yeah, if you guys like this series, just let me know and let me know what I can improve on. Um, I will also probably show some other decks as well every now and then. And I was also thinking about if I find a deck that's really working well for me, I was thinking about making a Tell the Daily on one of the decks, just to explain what I'm doing with it and what's good about it, and you know. Because Tello Daily was actually a series which should focus on not just Guild Wars, but since I'm only playing Guild Wars mainly right now, I am focusing on that. <laughs> but later on I want to spread out a little bit. I'm not sure um, if the idea of the series and then the name of it is actually fitting. I mean, if I would spread it out into different games, I wonder if it would actually... Ah, uh... oh, should I play this? No. No, no, no. I'm not gonna play it. Did I say hi? I don't know. Um, if I spread it out into di many different games, I wonder if I would alienate a few of my viewers, you know? Like... People who watch Guild Wars are not that likely. Oh, this is perfect right now. Now I have a lot of cards on my hand, and I can play a Twilight Drake next turn. That's so perfect! And I got the freaking Frothing Berserker. <laughs> oh, that makes me happy. I like this. I like this. 
here we go. But yeah, oh, actually I could have played a better combo than that, maybe. Ah, uh, well, I could have played uh, Pyromancer and then the Shadow Word Pain to kill this off and then just kill it completely. But I guess this works too. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm afraid of alienating people because like the Gilwars guys who watch me, they will maybe not like Hearthstone, but a few might like it, but I guess... I don't know. I'll just try around a little bit with the Teldo Daily and um, we'll gather more feedback about it. I really enjoy making those kind of videos and I can adjust it accordingly. Okay. You cannot finish it off right now though. Huh. Okay, let me think. Actually, I think that's alright. So if I play this Frothing Berserker, he could use a Cleave to deal 2 damage to both of my minions. Um, yeah, I will heal up my Twilight Rack again. And I will hit this guy. And now he can still kill this guy off, but if he plays a Cleave, he's gonna buff this guy up to 6 damage. Because he's gonna deal 2 damage, and every time when a minion takes damage, he gets plus 1 attack, which is just crazy, by the way. It's just crazy. Ooh, the Arcanite Reaper. Okay. I'm absolutely fine with that. Interesting. So no matter what I do, my Twilight Trick is going to die. So I'm thinking... I mean, I could play this guy, but... Uh, I don't have enough mana to heal this, and it would still be at 5 HP. So I think I'm just gonna play this, actually. I don't know. And next turn I can buff this guy up and actually get something out of it. <clears throat> I'm not sure if this was the right call. I couldn't have played Sylvanas because then he would have just... Oh, interesting. So he clears the board now. Okay. That's fine. Absolutely fine with that. Oh, he cannot target it. I cannot be targeted by hero powers, but I hate that so much. Mm. You know, I think... I, have no time. I don't have any other great plays. I don't want to play this, I don't want to play this. I think Sylvanas is not terrible right now. I mean, he would have to use a slam or something to get rid of Sylvanas. Slam and trade. Or that. And he takes even more damage like this. So I'm absolutely fine with it, actually. It was a 1 for 1, and he took some damage out of it, or 1 for 1 and a half, because he used his weapon there. Okay, this is nice, so I got the Circle of Healing Orcanized Soul Priest combo if needed. You know, I think I'm just gonna do this now. I don't need any AoE clear from the Pyromancer, since I have this combo that I was just talking about, and this way... I have a 3-5 and a 6-6, six, six, which is just powerful. This card is amazing. I think I only have one of them in my deck right now, and I should totally put two into there again. Huh. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. He's attacking a lot with his weapons, and he's taking lots of... Oh, I see. So he hit himself below a certain HP, so he can use Mortal Strike for 6 damage. Interesting. I think I'm just gonna play this guy to deal damage to him. I don't want to play my Organized Soul Priest right now, even though I could have applied extra pressure with it. But I think it's better to play it, to keep this safe with my circle of healing in case he plays something really big. <clears throat> oh crap. To be honest, I'm thinking about just my controlling this. If he doesn't play anything else. It looks like he is playing something else though. Weapon smith. <sighs> You know, let's do it this way. I mean, uh, I won't be able to use my Circle of Healing that effectively now. But well, I still have another Soul Priest in my deck if necessary. And if you play something really big, I have a Mind Control and a Shadow Ward Death. 
If he plays a lot of small things, I will maybe be in trouble, though. But he only has four cards, so it's unlikely that he plays a lot of small things. Interesting, he seems to run this very aggressive... Yeah, he seems to run that very aggressive rushdown deck of warriors. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I can kill him. Okay, so I hit him. I do this. I will heal. I will deal five damage to myself as well, but that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Well played. Yay! More win streak. All right, guys. I'm going to end this video here. It's 25 minutes. I think that's a good length. Um, I'm actually going to record another part of it right away. <laughs> but yeah, gonna upload this tomorrow and hope that you guys like it. So yeah, goodbye and see you in the next video.